Do you have a release form with you? No. Can I see that? No. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? As you can see, I am in the C7 Z06, the newly completed C7 Z06 uh, 2017 car here. The good old yellow one. And um, basically what I'm doing, you guys seen in one of the last videos that uh, I just got done finishing up. We got a good start up on it. We still need to fill up the antifreeze and stuff like that, which we, um, you know, obviously it's done now. Um, so right now, basically what I'm doing is uh, in order to break the, the motor in or the engine in, in order to break the engine in uh, successfully and make sure this thing's not going to have any issues on the dyno or any problems on the dyno or any problems for the customer when he's driving this thing around is to obviously put some miles on this thing. So that's what we're basically doing. Um, I'm actually running over to the New Holland Advanced Auto Parts, uh, which is about uh, 10, 15 minutes away from my shop to pick up an alternator for another customer's car. And I figured what better way to break this thing on some of the back roads here in Amish country than to uh, take this thing out and, uh, and just drive it around a little bit. So as you guys can see, the uh, oil pressure is doing very, very good. Temperature is doing very, very good. We do have a traction light on. I think there's some suspension, uh, something going on with the suspension back here. I'm thinking that maybe one of the rods popped off or something, but uh, that's an easy fix. Now, I do want to specify, I did fill the gas tank up with fuel before I left the shop. Uh, and as you can see, the gas gauge still does not work properly. We're only reading a quarter tank of gas. And I know for a fact, I put like 30, Five $35 in this thing and uh, I think there must have been a quarter tank of gas already in it but uh, it's definitely not working so I'm gonna have to address that and see what's going on there on why this gas gauge isn't working correctly but uh, other than that I mean the car is driving really really good especially with the new cam in it and uh, the KTEC uh, performance heads everything's working fine um, no leaks no drips no errors nothing's going goofy everything feels great um, the only problem, like I said, we have is the gas, uh, the gas level sensor, which I have to check out, and the suspension system, which isn't that big of a deal. Other than that, steering's fine, it's handling fine, it's driving fine, and uh, it's pretty fucking awesome. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this car finally being back on the road. And uh, I know the customer is going to be thrilled to be able to drive this car after, after I've had it and, uh, and finally have it like working correctly, you know what I mean? And uh, definitely we're going to be putting this thing on the dyno, seeing what the dyno does. Uh, we're hoping for over a thousand horsepower, which I think it'll be, uh, this will this will easily do over a thousand horsepower. I don't, uh, I don't have any doubts in my mind. All new, brand new injectors in this thing. Uh, pretty much a freshly built Golan engine, uh, short block. So uh, we're good to go, guys. We are good to go. So let's go to advance. Let's get our part. And, uh, and then we're gonna head back to the shop and uh, make sure this thing still drives like it's supposed to. And like I said, it's, uh, it's doing pretty good. It's not, it's not giving me any hiccups. Um, I looked at it this morning actually, uh, and I topped off the antifreeze to make sure the antifreeze was all topped off. And I also uh, checked underneath, I put it back on the lift, checked underneath for any, like I said, leaks or drips, errors. Nothing was leaking, nothing's dripping, nothing's oily. I did take it to Applebee's the other day uh, for lunch and uh, just drove it like a nice little quick trip down there just to, you know, see if anything was going to happen. Because I figured if, if it was going to happen, it was going to be on the way to Applebee's, which is only like a couple blocks away from the shop. And if, it, if something did happen, I could either limp it back to the shop or cheaply have it towed back to the shop, one or the other, or come back, get the trailer and tow it back to the shop. So uh, nothing happened. So I figured today, uh, since I had to come over here and get this part, I'd go ahead and drive it a little further and give, uh, give the legs a little stretch on this uh, C7 Z06 to see how it performs. And it is freaking loud. Freaking loud, like everybody's looking at me, like I'm nuts or something. And then they hear the blower, they hear the Pro Charger whining its ass off. And I'm sure you guys can hear it in the video, but they, people hear the Pro Charger whining its ass off and they think it's like a, a slipping belt or something when it's really not, it's just that Pro Charger. You can hear, you can hear it actually right here too very little bit you can kind of hear it yeah beautiful New Holland Pennsylvania if you ever come to PA the only thing that's worth mentioning here is Shady Maple and that's about it guys 
And here we are at good old Advanced Auto Parts. My buddy Dave's in here. I think my buddy Dave's working today. And uh, he's a cool fucking dude. I like him a lot. All right, let's park this. Let's park this pig. And go in here and get what we need. Little dirty still. We did wash her off. She's a little dirty still though. We're gonna give her a nice good bath before the customer picks her up though. So she'll be good to go. She will be good to go. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, not too bad. <laughs> we get to, since we're special, we get to go back in the scary section back here. Hi, buddy. Is that for me? Is that you have, mine? Do you have a GoPro? I have a couple GoPros. Do you have a release Store? form with you? No. Can I see that? No. <laughs> hey, get away from that car. <laughs> What's up, buddy? My Mustang's cleaner than this paint, man. Why are you getting it all dirty I like, I like your vape. <laughs> yeah, cool cage, everything. Damn. Here, I'll pop the hood too. You it's guys can see the hood. It's a surprisingly big trunk for what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. It's bigger than a super. Uh, exhaust. All vets have quad exhaust, dude. Oh, yeah, so F1A, 94, big ass blower. Ligenfelder, there you go. You like that, you like that uh, plate there, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Custom belt. Yeah, K Tech heads, Com Cam. Wow, it's centrifugal too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You definitely need one of those for yours. If you had one of those for yours, you'd be that that little V6 must time be screaming. Yeah, I see the Lincoln fellow right now. That's not, not no joke. Yeah. Go to the dyno. Yeah, I don't. That's the way they come from fact from the factory, you know. But uh. I've seen them go on the other side as well, you know, to the other side. Um, I've done them before, Pro Charger builds on the C7s, where they go towards the opening over there. But uh, I'm thinking about getting like um, a turbo screen for it, like what I have on my turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about getting one of those with a fine mesh one. So if I can get one of those for it, I might talk to the customer and see if he'd be interested in having that instead of this uh, of this dirty ass air filter crap. I don't like crap. that, yeah. It, I don't like it either. Like it's way, way dirty for how new it is. And uh, it's restricted I mean, as can, hell. Yeah, it looks restricted. Yeah. But yeah, she's driving good though. She's got maybe four. Maybe, well, how how far is it from here to my shop? Maybe eight miles. Eight miles. So it's probably got ten miles on it right now. Yeah. Literally ten miles on this car since yeah. since I built it. So brand new motor, you said. Brand new short block. Brand spanking new. Dolan Dolan engine. Like that? What's just that? Right? Was it rebuilt or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, it was just... fully it was fully rebuilt by Golan Engines up in New Hampshire. Okay, gotcha. They filled, they did the and these are fully forged from the factory. Yeah, this is completely not stock. Yeah, this is one hundred percent not stock. Gotcha. Same cubic well, you said inches. It's got about eleven hundred horsepower. Um, we're hoping to see eleven hundred horsepower Jesus. out of this. That's crazy. Yeah, we're hope we'll see what happens. It's it's up in the air. What's it, it sound like? about nines? What's it sound like? What's it sound yeah, like? Can we hear it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll start it up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thumbnail right there. It's a exhaust. Yeah, it's a Corsair exhaust system. Uh, Cooks long tube headers with uh, off road X pipe in the middle, no cats. Uh, sounds nasty. Yeah, it's, it's no joke. It's definitely going to be fast. Everybody thinks it's a belt whining. So it's a fucking pro charger. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, obviously we got our parts from uh, the Vance Auto Parts and the guys came out, they wanted to look at the car and everything. Oh my god, I keep forgetting how... <laughs> I really do keep forgetting how sensitive these uh, ceramic brakes are, these carbon ceramic brakes. Yeah, anyway, so they came out, they, uh, they were looking at the car and stuff like that. I actually took a really cool picture. If you go over to my Instagram, you'll see the picture that I took and uh, the commercial guy over there is going to send it out to corporate see if they want to use it as a promo it is such a freaking awesome picture but um the one thing i haven't done with this car yet which we're going to do right now is take it on the highway get it up to like 75 miles an hour 65 75 miles an hour go cruising and uh it's just been back roads since uh since i started driving it so uh we're gonna go ahead and do some highway and uh head back to the shop and then we'll be done for the day on this and then we got other stuff that we got to do. We actually just had a uh, supercharged SS Camaro be dropped off for a very simple uh, install. Take a couple hours to do. I'm actually going to have Senate Steve. Let me close the windows here. This is going to get windy. I'm actually going to have Senate Steve uh, come up and do a little bit of work for me, guys. So you'll see uh, Senate Steve at the shop and uh, and stuff. So that'd be pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoy the content he makes at the shop. Speed this thing up a little bit. There we go. 70's fine. Speed limit 65. Definitely gotta respect the speed limit, guys. Can't be speeding. Cops will get you. Not a good thing. But uh, we're going like 68 miles an hour, and this thing, oh look, the gas gauge literally just took a shit. Just shit to bed. Went straight to zero. It was at a quarter. I don't even know if you guys seen that while I had the camera pointed to it, but it was at a quarter and it shipped the bed, went right to zero. Luckily, since the gas uh, tank has been filled up before I left, like I stated earlier in the video, I know we have plenty of fuel, so uh, I'm not too sketched out yet, but I'm definitely gonna have to fix that issue. But it seems to be driving really, really good on the highway. I had to put some air in the tires. The tires were a little low, uh, just from the car sitting and stuff, so I put a little bit of air in the tires, and it's driving a whole lot better uh, with more air, obviously. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go, man. Let's get up the highway, get back to the shop, um, let her cool down, double check all of our fluids, make sure everything's good to go, make sure nothing is uh, leaking, put her back up on the lift, and then uh, drive her some more maybe this weekend, put a couple more miles on her, get her broken in. That way when it's time for dyno tuning, this thing's gonna be good to go, guys, good to go. We are back at the shop and the Corvette did an amazing job on the nice little cruiser we did with her. Um, I can't complain. A few little issues to work out, a few little bugs, but nothing crazy. We're going to continue to put a few more miles on her, get her ready for dynoing. But uh, this thing is doing good. I'm very, very proud of it. Very, very excited that the uh, engine's working like it should. Everything's working like it should. Um, no leaks, no drips, no errors, like I said it before. So there you go, guys. We're gonna end this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a big favor. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys.